It fell to the lot of two other Air Force officers, John Paul Stapp and Eli Beeding, to demonstrate that men could withstand G-forces as they would be experienced during a rocket launch and re-entry. On the Holloman rocket sled, Stapp reached a top speed of 640 miles per hour and slammed to a full stop in 1.4 seconds. He suffered no serious or permanent ill effects from the 55G peak deceleration load he took. Beeding subjected himself to an incredible 83 G's in a later test made on the shorter Daisy track. Beeding went into a state of shock and for a time was considered to be in a critical condition. Five days later, however, he was back at work with no permanent disability. These and other intrepid human volunteers took risks at least as dangerous as those they had required of the animal subjects. And the data thus gained contributed significantly to the successful flights of Alan Shepard, John Glenn, and their successors. <laughs>